All right, guys. Welcome to Picture This New Media. My name is Halal Ernie, and today we'll be, we will be going over the 23rd of August New Comic Book Day recommendations. Um, this week's Comic Book Day, uh, Wednesday uh, recommendations. Um, I basically choose them off of what I think y'all would like, what I would like, um, and what I think would be worth it to fans of the property itself. Um, so there might be like, I'm not a fan of The Flash, but if I hear uh, a certain Flash comic book being good by its fans, its long running fans, then I may or may not recommend it. Something like that, you know, that's how it goes. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with this right away. Um, the first, uh, let's see here, the first row here, I would recommend, um, sorry, let me just, uh, bump it up a little bit. All right, the first ones I would choose here out of this first row is Venom. I will skip The Amazing Spider-Man and Dark Knights of Steel. Uh, Dark Knights of Steel is taken over by a writer and editor that uh, I can say is making it a DCU uh, kind of feel to it. Uh, but, but um, I also had heard that it's not too terrible it's not too terrible it's not overly woke like say uh, oh wow I'm surprised he's not the writer here uh, Dan Slott Spider-Man um, this one I heard wasn't that great either but this Venom one uh, is really really good it's it's got the new um, uh, the new Venom holder, which is, uh, let's see here, oh, it doesn't have him in this one, but it's his son, uh, Eddie Brock's son, Dylan Brock, uh, and that's how this issue start, or not issue, but that's how the series started, and it's turned out that MF Doom is now in, in the in the story. I haven't read this far, but now I am going to rush to 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 read it because MF Doom is one of my favorite all-time uh Marvel superhero uh uh villains, I guess you could say anti-hero whatever. He's one of my favorites. I don't I don't I don't know. It'll be anti-hero versus somewhat of a, a an interesting villain say the least. Uh, X-Force number 43, highly recommend against, same with Fantastic Four, annual issue number one. This is an annual, so it only comes out once a year. Um, it, it is only $4.99 for, for 28 pages, but it does have Ghost Rider. Uh, Ghost Rider is a pretty good, um, character from Marvel Comics and uh, hasn't really been touched up by the by the woke writers and editors and, and stuff like that so this one I'll recommend with uh, with a little bit of caution just a little bit Fantastic Four annual if you're a Fantastic Four fan if you're a Human Torch fan or a Ghost Rider Vip fan this might be something you'll pick up and like. Uh, next up is Night Terrors, issue number four. This is the main storyline of the Night Terrors uh, series. I do highly recommend this one and uh, I'm reading this one online and I'm getting the characters. Uh, I'm probably going to get the trade paperback book of this one uh, when it comes out, but yeah, definitely recommend this one. Next up is Deadpool, issue number 10. Uh, I heard mixed reviews on this one. 
not the greatest and not the worst. Uh, this is the final issue of this um, of this series. They, I wonder if that's because they shortened it or they what they did. But yeah. Yeah, it was canceled. Um, Alyssa Wong, you are not a Deadpool writer. Sorry to say. The Immortal Thor, issue number one. Uh, I am not a Thor fan, uh, but I do like Al Ewing. He's a pretty good writer. Um, when he's not writing for Marvel. This is $6.99. It's going to be a little bit more expensive than... Uh, normal comic book but it is 52 pages so I guess that kind of balances out um, in Norse myths they called him Thunder v Voir I, I can't pronounce that viewer where has been called to this person the gods know him as Asgard's king keeper of Mjolnir a hero of tale when injustice grips the earth and ancient powers bring down the sky, he fights for those who cannot. For those who cannot. And when the tale is done, we will know what the cost, what that cost him. This is the story of the immortal Thor, plus a bonus page written by Jonathan Hickman. I say keep your guard up whenever you get this one mm. according to Ewing there we go so there's there's some excitement for this there is some excitement for this um, I'll recommend it to Thor fans but uh, proceed with caution next up is the invincible Iron Man uh, haven't heard much uh, of anything on this it seems like everybody's liking it though so if you're an Iron Man fan this might be good for you let me see uh, who the writer is it's Greg and ooh it's got a it's got a scary editor in there so just uh, proceed with caution again with most Marvel properties uh, King Spawn, highly recommend, we'll be getting $2.99, can't beat it. Um, Batman, The Brave and the Bold, issue number four, for eight bucks, I'm gonna pass. And I think most Batman people will pass, too. Uh, Unstoppable Doom Patrol, I'm gonna pass on that. I... have no idea what this is about but it doesn't look like it's light um, Meta Woman yeah it has a bunch of characters that nobody really likes I don't know Does, doesn't look interesting at all next up is Star Wars Doctor, Doctor o Afra issue number 35 it's a long running uh, Star Wars property um, I can't say I recommend it I don't know I'd say if you're a new Star Wars fan like a new the Disney Star Wars you might like this one but I'm gonna stay far away from it especially with uh, Wong as a writer Jean Grey by Marvel Comics, the X-Men series. Superstar creators take Jean Grey's legacy fires. See who's the superstar. Ooh, old lady. Uh, um, proceed with caution. 85% liked. Uh, Jean's life is in shambles. Mutant kind is in desire, in, de er, in desire, in dire straits. And there's nothing this found, founding X-Men can do. She'll save herself first. She, she'll she have to save herself first. And that means looking into her past for the moment when it all went wrong. 
in a desperate attempt to save her and all of Krakoa's future. Um, hard pass on this one, so we're revisiting past events. It's just another mini series. It's definitely not worth it. Highly recommend against. Next up is Night Terrors Detective Comics. It's again this whole Night Terrors uh, kind of encroaching on the DC space. Um, recommend it, but I'm not going to get it. Realm of X issue number one. There's a lot of number ones here today. Leaping straight from the astonishing events of this year's Hellfire Ga Gala, uh, Gala, the unlikely team of Magic Mirage, Marrow Dust, and Typhoid Mary find themselves stranded in Van Vanaheim. And what's even more confusing is the locals seem to believe that they hold the key to fulfilling a prophecy that they can either raise the realm of riches or cause it to fall to ruin. With Magic's powers malfunctioning and a mysterious figure massing power on the outskirts of the realm the x-men are going to have a band together have to band together if they want to stay alive long enough to find their way home writer torin grunbeck I, I haven't really heard much on her but there's a lot of nobodies a lot of nobodies um, it's a four issue mini I am not going to get it. I am not going to recommend it. Uh, but let me know if I'm missing out on anything, because there's it, it's there are new characters with I, it, they're all female though, so I I don't know. Let me know if I'm missing out on on this. Uh, let me see what else she's written, because she's a Red Sonia writer. That's pretty cool. She's done Venom, Red Sonia, Punisher. She's done a Frank Rosetta. She's done Carnage. She's done Captain Marvel. So this might this might be worth it. This might be worth it. Um, the Realm of X. If you're an X-Men fan, you want new characters. We'll see how that one goes. I, I, I'm not going to recommend it, but let me know if I'm missing out. Next up is Moon Knight, City of the Dead. Uh, as we know, it's not Moon Knight's uh, uh, comic book anymore. It's the Scarlet Scarab, so highly recommend against Hard Pass. Next up is uh, Night Terror's Teen Titans. I'll recommend, especially if you're a Teen Titans fan, this Night Terror's uh, little arc is really cool. I, I, I admit, I really like it. Next up is Night Terror's Action Comics. Again, I'll recommend that one. Same with the Harley Quinn. I'm not a Harley Quinn fan anymore. Uh, they ruined her character, in my opinion, but this one might be worth, worth getting. Ice Cream Man, issue number 36. Highly recommend that you catch up on this before you read it, because if you don't, you're going to be completely, completely confused. This isn't something you can go right in the middle and read. Um, but as you can see, it's, it's highly anticipated and already reviewed and loved. Next up is DC Comics, The Penguin, issue number one. Uh, a lot of people didn't ask for the Penguin comic, but I guess they liked it. And I will recommend it, because there is no, there's a lot of... This number was interesting, although it reminds me too much of Tinian's Joker pilot. All, literally both Oswald and Jim are retired, and external agency comes to tell some of us. Huh. So yeah, I'll recommend this one. It seems worthy enough to check out. I don't know why I went all the way over here. Hey, hey. Hmm. 
Next up is Harley Quinn. Like I said, I'll recommend that one. Daredevil and Echo, I highly recommend against. Rogue Son, I do recommend. And uh, definitely get the, the trade paperback of this one first because you're going to kind of miss out. The, the, the issue number one is very important because there's a Rogue Son previously. It's his father. You got to figure out why it's it and it's he's like a bastard so yeah it's definitely definitely worth um checking checking into i love rogue sun it was a good one my local comic book shop just kind of stopped carrying it though so yeah definitely i'm gonna get the trade paper back when i get the chance next up is firepower issue number 26 by image comics it's a really good one, especially if you like anime and the whole elemental fire type thing. Uh, this one will uh, will give you kind of a sense of a, a manga, you know, a little bit, a little bit. Uh, Black Panther issue number three, Hard Pass, Batman Beyond, Neo Gothic. Um, I'll, I'm gonna recommend against it, but there's a lot of fans in this one, so let me know if I'm missing out. Uh, Storm issue number four, hard pass. Look what they did to Storm and her hair, her mental illness haircut. I, this isn't the Storm I know. I grew up with. They ruined her. Uh, Night Terrors, Angel Breaker. Like I said, most Night Terror ones I'm gonna recommend. Especially if you like that character, you'll definitely want to see what's going on. Captain America Finale. This is uh, the white guy. <laughs> um, Jackson Lansing is the writer on this one. Disappointing to see this series end so soon. So, a lot of people are saying, oh no, it's ending, why is it ending, and people are saying, I'm glad it ended. Uh, I'll say, go in this one with, uh, oh, what's it called? If you want to get this one, ha have your guard up, because it might not be good, but it is the, the finale of the, his arc, I'm guessing. Uh, Cap's final stand. Captain America takes his final stand against the Outer Circle using information gathered from his friends on the inside. Steve Rogers. <clears throat> Steve Rogers sets his sight on releasing the world from the Outer Circle influence and ending a century game for good. The explosive conclusion of the groundbreaking story of Captain America. I hope they do him right. I hope they do him right. I'm not even a Captain America fan, but we'll I can see why they a lot of people are pissed with the direction they went. Next up is the Bone Orchard Mythos Tenement. If you like a good psychological thriller, um, this one's definitely for you. Uh, I'm gonna pull this series. Um, hopefully, I get to keep up with it. Next up is New Burn issue number ten. This one was pretty good. Uh, it's a Chip Zdarsky. Uh, comic book my comic my local comic book shop stopped carrying this one so I, I wasn't able to keep up with it unless I read it online but yes highly recommend this one really good um, definitely pick this one up uh, issue number one if you if you can uh, next up is no one issue number five highly recommend uh, same thing with the local comic book shop. They stopped carrying this one, but I highly recommend it. It's a secret organization with a... It, it, it's basically superheroes without all that Marvel garbage. You know, a good superhero comic book. Next up is Big Game by Mar uh, Mark Miller, Miller World, Image Comics. Highly recommend. It's just the whole um, kick-ass world. Um, I really like this uh, this comic uh, 
book world and it's nemesis versus ambassadors the nightclub the magic order kings of men and every single miller world creation you've ever known and loved during the years loved over the years this book is a bloodbath so he's not scared to kill off a lot of his characters and yeah this one is definitely worth worth getting Next up is Batman The Adventures Continue. If you're a fan of the old cartoon, you'll like that one. Next up is Dead Lucky. Um, it's alright. It's a mid it's a mid comic book for superheroes by Image Comics. It's it's proceed with caution. Time before time, issue number 26. Highly recommend. Uh, start from the beginning, of course. Um, issue number one, get the trade paperbacks because it is totally worth it, especially if you're into the whole time travel thing. The artwork is a little bit scratchy, so it's it's not the best artwork, but it's it's it, the the writing, the story, the plot, everything makes up for it. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, not a fan really, so I'm gonna pass. Planet of the Apes pass. Um, if you like the movie, I'd say go ahead and collect it, but it's just a cash grab. Turtles and Stranger Things. Um, it's a cash grab, but I don't know. It, if you don't want anything completely serious and you want to get your kids into comic books, I recommend this one, but eh. Next up is Darkwing Duck, issue number 8. Same thing, if you want to get your kids into comic books, it's a good one. Dynamite Entertainment. Uh, great art. Uh, Marvel Unleashed, issue number 1. Uh, I'm going to just let you know that this is a hard pass. Um, if you want to read that, go ahead. Nothing in this uh, makes me interested, except for maybe Doctor Doom, but even then, it looks like it's for kids, and I don't know, not for me. Indigo Children, issue number six. This one I wish that the comic, my comic book shop kept on uh, getting, but uh, oh well. I, I do recommend this one. Star Trek, issue number 11 highly recommend against uh, hmm, not even worth it Christopher chaos the oddly the oddly pedestrian life of Christopher chaos uh, it looks like it's made for teenagers um, not really what I would recommend uh, Battle Chasers issue number 12. This one looks more along the lines of what I, I like. Uh, I wish I haven't seen, read, or seen this one, but judging by the covers, I should have. Uh, yeah, definitely pick this one up. Um, I am going to get the trade paperback when this one comes out for sure. Next up is Dead Romans, issue number six. Highly recommend. Uh, really great war strategy type thing uh, with uh, some interesting plot devices. And, and it's the finale. Cool, the battle builds to the climax. All right. All right, yep. Good old time, good old fashioned war comic. Next up is Earth Divers, issue number 9 by IDW. It's just a woke garbage retelling of killing Christopher Columbus and time traveling. It's, it's ridiculous. Click Click Boom by Image Comics. Um, it looked interesting. Uh, the issue number 1, um, I never, I didn't pick it up, but I don't know, it just... Uh, didn't really seem to be something that I am going to be interested in, but 
a lot of people liked it so I will recommend it uh, if I'm missing out please let me know and I'll pick it up next up is DC and Ruby issue number seven hard pass uh, stranger things tales from Hawkins issue number three highly recommend uh, it's dark horse comics have been really doing really good with the with the stranger things comics um, Blade Runner 2039 issue number six I haven't really heard much on it but let me know if I'm missing anything on this one I'm not gonna recommend it because it's too far into it the schlub issue number one by image comics Fall failing dentist Roger Dalton blames the world for his problems until he body swaps with the world's greatest superhero can Roger save the earth and finally prove to his family he's not a loser Um, looks interesting, looks interesting more for like teenagers or something like that or, or younger men, but not really something I'm going to recommend. Next up is Terror War, issue number five, highly recommend this one. It's really interesting comic book, I got the number one, I don't think, um, uh, my comic book sh uh, shop has continued with this one, but it was really interesting. Here's the description of the first one there if you want to read it. It got good reviews, 102 of 109.94%, so yeah, definitely recommend this one. Okay. Rocketeer in the Den of Thieves, issue number two. I recommend, especially if you're a Rocketeer fan. The art's not the greatest, but the story's pretty good. Star Trek, The Strange New World, The Scorpius Run. Run. Um, I'll let you read it, but I'm, I'm not really interested in any of this. Next up is Creed by Boom Studios. Give me a second. God damn. All right, Creed by Boom Studios, the next round, issue number three. If you like the movie, you'll like this one, but I, I'm gonna not recommend it. Next up is Scrapper by Image Comics. I do recommend this one. I didn't pick up the first one because they didn't have it at my comic book shop, but this one's definitely, I like the whole dogs talking and and all that stuff it's it's definitely really cute Blade Runner style action mixes with big emotions as stray dog scrapper and his buddy tank fight for justice against the oh wait yeah never mind um, this may or may not be the greatest it might be a little preachy Paw Patrol for adults. Eh. Next up is Scrap um, Vampirella versus the Superpowers. I highly recommend this one. A really great uh, <clears throat> story, plot, artwork always on point. Dynamite Entertainment always knocks it out of the park. Uh, I'm just a Vampirella simp. Uh, same with Red Sonia. So. I don't know. What, what more can I say? King Kong The Great War, issue number three. I recommend, if, especially if you're a King Kong fan. Um, flying Thunder Lizards, The King of Tyrannosaurus, Man-Eating Giant Insects. I mean, you got it all here. It's going to be mayhem, destruction, everything you expect from King Kong and Dynamite Entertainment. Next up is Seven Years in Darkness by CEX. Um, I haven't heard too much on this one. I'll say proceed with caution. The art's not the greatest, but the stories are usually pretty good. 
Let me know if I'm missing anything if you if you've picked this one up. Uh, Immortal Sergeant issue number eight. Not my thing. Highly recommend against um, the Mighty Barbarians by Ablaze Publishing. Uh, if you like good old fashioned uh, medieval swords and magic and cutting up people, then uh, this one is definitely for you. Um, hopefully my local comic book shop picks it up. Uh, Oni Presses Zeno. Um, the art's pretty good, but the story is a little... A little lame. I'll just say that. But it's got some decent ratings. So here's the, the thing for issue number one. Yeah, it, it seems alright, but it's not for me. I'll recommend it, but I'm not going to pick it up. Next up is Tales of Sizenpence. Um, I'm not sure about this one. Uh, I remember seeing it, but... There's the description. It, it doesn't look like it's made for me, but it looks interesting enough. It's got a writer, so I'll recommend it to my fan, uh, to my viewers, but I'm not going to pick it up myself. Let me know if I'm missing out, if I should pick it up. Horror Comics by Antarctic Press. It's usually a pretty cool collection of horror stories. Adam's Family by IDW Publishing. If you want to get your kids into comic books this might be a good jumping off start especially with uh, it being Wednesday and it's a one shot I'm not gonna get it but I'll recommend it Kitsune if you like anime and manga and stuff like that this one you'll definitely like um, I'm not gonna pick it up because I stopped carrying it at my local comic book shop but uh, definitely recommend this one. Victory by Dynamite Entertainment. I highly recommend. Um, uh, Victory, Vampirella's else, erstwhile lover and inexplicable object of interest to Lilith is also the not so proud owner of Belial's ring. So it, this one's definitely, it, she's a new character kind of and there's so much craziness going on. I highly recommend this one. Definitely pick it up if you haven't already. Uh, Magic Planeswalker Notorious by Boom Studios from Magic the Gathering. Um, two of the most popular Planeswalker in Magic the Gathering history. Fan favorite vampire Soren Markov and the incomparable necromancer Liliana Vess come together to team up that uh, some come together for a team up that's not to be missed. On a mysterious unnamed plane, the two must work together to prevent Diabolical Figure from unleashing hell. So if you like D&D, Magic the Gathering, all this stuff, this one definitely is right up your alley. Um, looks like it could be a miniseries. It's $7.99 though. Uh, um, if you're a Magic the Gathering fan, it'll be worth it to you, but I'm not going to pick it up. But it definitely looks cool. Highly recommend. Rick and Morty presents Science of Summer. I'm tired of Rick and Morty, so I'm never going to recommend a Rick and Morty comic book again. Robin Hood Anniversary, issue number 100. $6.99 if you like this Robin Hood character from Zenscope. I highly recommend you get this one. It'll definitely be a good collector's item. Starfinder Angels of the Drift. If you like tabletop games, this one might be uh, worth it to you. I got issue number one. I have not read it yet, but I have uh, seen the descriptions and the 
reviews and there's a lot of people that like this one um, yeah definitely recommend this one especially if you're into uh, RPG t t tabletop RPGs um, next up is Exorcist Never Die by Mad Cave Studios I'm gonna do a hard pass on that uh, followed by Keys of Cthulhu from Zenscope. I will probably put, put this one on my pull list because I like Cthulhu monsters and things like that. Let me see what it says about it. Cthulhu is close to walking from his long prison of sleep. The keys to his awakening has been found in all but two have been collected. Avril Williams knows her power as a witch makes her special but she never suspected that they made her the key to walking waking the greatest evil in the world the world has ever known now on a mysterious South American island teeming with evil she must confront her destiny in the final key unlocking this earth that sounds really cool actually I'll recommend this one next up is Mary Machine Gun by Antarctic Press. It's a new edition. It is sent to Kentucky to eradicate a pack of werewolves. Upon her, her arrival, she discovers not all as it seems in the small town, especially in the church overlooking it. Sounds cool. I think I will recommend this one, especially if you just like. Uh, Hot girls doing badass things. Mad Cave Studios Under the Influence, issue number two. Uh, I haven't really heard much on this one. Uh, doesn't look like it's gonna be made for me. But it looks like it's liked. Let me know if. Uh, I'm missing anything on this one, but I, I highly doubt I am. Next up is Godzilla Monsters and Protectors All Hail the King, issue number one. Um, it's a bit pricey um, and a bit, kid, a bit too ki kitty for me. Uh, I remember when Godzilla was a little bit more bloody and hardcore and not made for kids. So I'm not sure what this price, uh, this money grab is all about. But uh, if you want to get your kids into comic books and you have the money to spend $10 on a comic book, I'd say go ahead. But eh. Summoner's War Awakening. If you like uh, anime and D&D, you might like this one. I would recommend it. Um, my comic book shop has not been keeping up with this one though, so I, I, I'm not going to be able to get it. Uh, this one doesn't come up. Uh, CEX, Mother Russia, One Baby, One Rifle, Two Million Zombies. The zombie breaks out during World War II in Russia. Seems interesting, but not interesting enough for me. Uh, My Little Pony, uh, Hard Pass, Jungle Comics. Uh, I don't know anything about it. Uh, Blacksmith, The Key to His Heart. I got issue number one of this one. I haven't read it yet. It's... It... It seems interesting enough, so I'll recommend it. Um, I'll catch up and see if it's if it's worth it. Uh, next up is let's see here. These ones don't show up. Tomorrow Girl. Uh, if you like anime, this one will be for you. Uh, Carnal Confessions. Uh, this one's not gonna show up. Ninja High School. Eh. 
American Mythology Productions. This is the last one that'll be at my comic book shop. Uh, from Willie's Wonderland, creator Geo Parsons and superstar artist Carlos Rod. Um, comes a thrill ride, a thrill ride story of sci-fi suspense and horror, fearing a massive avalanche occurred. A deputy and his family are sent to investigate the welfare of a seduced ski town, a uh, secluded seduced secluded ski town. Upon arrival, they discover the resort is under a deadly assault by a mechanized, militarized robot, robotic dinosaur. This is the first chapter in an exhilarating three-part story arc. It's your animatronic. Uh, sounds interesting. It's, it's gonna be bloody. It's gonna be gory. It's gonna be Five Nights at Freddy, but for adults. Um, not for me, but I'll recommend it. I'll definitely recommend it, especially if you like gory comic books. All right, well that's gonna do it here for the my recommendations for August the twenty third, two thousand twenty three. Thank you so much for watching. Have yourself a great rest of your day. Bye.